Today's demonstration is designed and instructed on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins and add-ons. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using the specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Thomson Reuters shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. I hope you do not have an echo right now because uh, uh, I'm the only one speaking, so there should be a minimized echo. Again, I want to thank you guys for, all for showing up tonight and for coming to the webinar. Um, the, today's uh, class should be a very, very good presentation of the VR Trader add-on, which has been one of our newer add-ons this year, and we're very, very happy with it. Uh, we've been getting some really good feedback from our customers on the actual add-on, and so it's a, a really good pleasure of mine to introduce Mark, uh, who I consider a good friend. I'm going to Hi, talk Jeff. just a little bit more about you, Mark. Okay, thank you. And then I'm going to turn <laughs> the time over to you. Okay. Uh, Mark is somebody that I've been working probably since about January of last year. Uh, I always love it when we can work with somebody that really knows what they're talking about. Uh, in fact, this year Mark has been rated again number one market timer for the six month period ending I guess in June of this year. Mark can kind of clear it, that up a little bit. But he's written yeah. quite a few books. And Mark, why don't you just go ahead? Okay, Jeff, thank you. Um, so I, sh I should espouse my own uh, accolades here. That's that's great, thank you. <laughs> so, um, we got my picture up there, folks. Well, thanks for uh, joining us today here at Metastock. And uh, this is the second or third time I've had an opportunity to do a webinar. Um, I'm getting used to the technology and enjoying the opportunity to do something like this. We had an exciting day in the markets today. For those of you who are trading or been out there, if you were clients of mine, you know that we generated what I call Leibovitz negative volume reversals a couple of days ago. So the decline here, though the intensity was more than I could have predicted for one day, certainly did not come unexpectedly. And some of the examples we're going to show clearly demonstrate how volume precedes price and why that tool, this tool, is so very important to your trading and investing. On the screen, I'm showing my Trader's Book of Volume. Some of you may be familiar with that or not. It came out in February. My good friend um, Greg Morris uh, did the introduction to the book. We cover a lot of volume indicators. There's a hint of the Leibovit volume reversal in there. It's not about the volume reversal. It covers all volume indicators, all major volume indicators. Our uh, next book, Trading Your Way to Profits Using the Volume Reversal, hopefully will be out sometime uh, mid-next year. And then we, we'll go into more examples, many of which we see here on the Metastock platform. And so it pretty much will be a demonstration of how we use the uh, Leibovit Volume Reversal in conjunction with, um, with Metastock. By the way, the book's available at the Amazon if you like. We also produced the uh, Leibovit VR Gold Letter. This has been a big letter for me here, obviously, with gold moving forward. So if you're interested, please uh, check that out at www.vrgoldletter.com. And um, this is a little bit of the background. Uh, Jeff usually uh, goes over this. And I'm not s sitting here this afternoon telling you about a lot of what I do, but many of you have seen me on uh, various programs over the years. I've been doing this 30 five years, um, most notably starting with the Lewis Rukeyser program back in the 80s as an elf and uh, doing nightly business report for a number of years, actually about 30 years with Paul Kangas. Uh, Tyler Digest just came out August 8th. This is what Jeff mentioned a few moments ago for the for six months so far this year on the number one market timer in the country according to uh, their analysis. And again, it's because of volume. It's not because I'm smarter than anybody else or uh, have you know, the greatest indicator in the world, though I think it's a good one. I think you have to look at volume as a leading indicator, and the volume reversal certainly is a great tool for doing that, which, as you know, many of you know, I've kept under wraps for about 30 years. I mean, it's not really something you see on stock market platforms, and it's a great honor for me and uh, been a pleasure working with Jeff and others at Metastock and, and uh, Robert Dedman, the programmer over there, to, to create a, a template that would make sense for you to understand what I really do or look at uh, day to day. Um, and this is just some more background on me, which you don't have to read, but this is all part of the uh, 
pitch. Now this, the V indicator is proprietary. It is exclusive for the time being to Metastock. Uh, it is a black box. I don't give out the formula for it. Uh, I guess I've been paranoid for 30, 35 years thinking that if I gave it out it would stop working. That may or may not be the case. Maybe we'll change our mind at some point, but that's where we're at. Uh, the volume reversal uh, serves to identify and validate a particular type of reversal environment. And basically what I'm looking at is a shift of buyers to sellers or sellers to buyers. Hopefully over for key inflection points you know, of key lows or key highs after rally peaks like we just had a few days ago when the S&P got over 1200 and then suddenly reverses to the downside or after a big sell off like we're having now let's say volume suddenly comes in back to the upside in a day or two. Those type of inflection points accompanied by a shift from buyers to sellers or sellers to buyers is what I'm looking for. And we have been developing this thing with Metastock since January 2010, though as you know I've been using the indicator for many decades. So what we've created is three versions of the volume reversal. And we're going to show those to you today. Some of you may have seen some of these similar examples in a previous webinar. Um, we created the uh, Leibovitz VR sequential, the Leibovitz VR directional, and the Leibovitz VR two-day. This is not the end all of what I do. These are just three ways of presenting the indicator in a way that you could understand it and use it in your daily trading and investing. To that end, uh, let's uh, get started here and look at some of um, the examples. Oh, we do have this visual here. It is applicable to all these uh, various um, trading vehicles. Equities, of course. We have a futures, uh, two futures versions of it. You'll see on the um, drop down menu at the expert advisor gold heating oil natural gas palladium platinum copper cocoa many of you already know I'm pretty much a gold bug and have been for about 10 years so I really concentrate quite a bit on the metals in what I do but uh, all these markets are available and we do of course deal with the uh, ETFs that's a big big area for me and I've been very excited about that over the years the ability to um, time the market using the exchange traded funds now we did a study before we launched the um, the Metastock indicators and we found that there was about a 70 percent reliability that if I generate a volume reversal, leave of it volume reversal, within two days you tend to have a profit on the trade. I mean this is 70 percent, nothing is 100 percent. You may find five examples in a row that don't work but oh, we did a back testing study on it and in many of the examples I'm going to show you demonstrate this. We created this thinking there are a lot of traders out there like myself you know who invest as well but say look I'm really in this for a couple day trade I'm here for the sport and the action as well as for the investment and how do we create something that would you know fit that market need. So we created the Leibovitz volume reversal two day indicator saying that basically you take a position and in two days or two bars you're out regardless of what the market does after that you're just happy to be in and out. So an example, this is sort of a skeleton sketch of, of, of the theory behind it. And we're going to go into some real examples here in just a moment. But um, as you can see here on the screen, on the left side, we have a negative VR. And then two days later, the little man appears on your uh, expert advisor telling you to exit the trade. You have two days, you had a profit, actually, that a huge bar there. And then there's a period here there was no action and then we get another negative, a bit of negative volume reversal here and two days later you're out for the trade. Here we get a positive VR, two days later you're out. Positive VR here, two days later you're out. And that's sort of the, the concept behind it and, it's, and again it applies to 60 minute charts, to weekly charts and it's just a way to try to trade the indicator which is essentially based on momentum. You're creating momentum in the direction of the volume reversal so it makes sense that if, you, if it's a valid indicator you would get follow through in the direction that volume is flowing. Next one is the volume reversal sequential indicator and we're going to go through a lot of in examples of all of these so please be patient. So the sequential shows every volume reversal. No two day trades, just puts them up on the screen for you. Uh, frankly, this is how I like to look at them because I like to see every volume reversal and then I decide is it overbought, oversold, is the stock dropped enough or is it rallied enough that I'm comfortable taking the signal and putting it to use. So this is a good tool for uh, those of you who like to play with a lot of indicators, who want to put your other various tools on the screen in addition, of course, hopefully to the uh, leave of it volume reversal. So the sequential gives you all the volume reversals. And finally, well, this is an example of it. This is sort of a skeleton chart. 
in this particular hypothetical stock we just created this little uh, visual for you you're getting a series of volume reversals and just just kept showing positive volume patterns in the stock and we count them on Metastock we count them up to six and beyond six you have to go to the expert advisor because apparently programming doesn't let us go beyond six but basically if you see a sequence of positive volume reversals here it's telling you it's under the stock or index or future is under accumulation for higher prices and if you get four five six you know this tells you the trends up and the buyers are there overshadowing the uh, sellers and finally we have the directional now, this is a little bit more sophisticated will be done here um, in the sequential as you know we show all of them but in the directional we only show newly generated volume reversals when they're in the opposite direction of the previous volume reversal or when the previous VR has hit a stop so we filter out repetitive volume reversals and if we're stopped out we're stopped out so this cleans up the screen a little bit um, some people like this better than the sequential because there's less noise on the screen um, you'll see the value of all of these as we go through examples so again this is a little hypothetical visual of how the directional even though there are a lot of VRs on the screen here this filtered out any conflicting VRs and basically uh, if I can just point to this one in the middle here you had negative VR so in theory you're short until a positive VR comes in here okay and then you're basically long well I guess uh, for this entire move because there's no negative VR along the way to get you out you know, over here, for example, on this hypothetical, you'd be long here on a positive VR. If there was any conflicting signals, they'd been reported, but there weren't. And then you're out here when a negative volume reversal. So when the sellers came in, you exited it. And that's sort of the theory behind it, filtering out the noise. So let's get down to some examples here. And uh, we'll, we'll start with the uh, leave of a volume reversal today. Um, some of these are current examples from the last uh, several days, as current as I get them up. Some are older examples to demonstrate the theory. But this is the uh, Market Vectors Junior Miners ETF. You might be familiar with GDXJ, which is uh, recommended by many, including myself, as a trading and investment vehicle for the gold miners. And uh, here we go. Basically, this is a two-day play. Up here, you're getting a negative volume reversal. Okay, two days, you're out with a trade, even though, as you can see here, it went lower we didn't care because we were only looking for a two-day trade that's what this indicator version was designed for here negative volume reversal two days later you're out negative volume reversal two days you're out and here 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 there's no signal so we're not doing anything we don't catch the low here for some reason we didn't get a shift of volume here or here but we got a positive leap of volume reversal here so we went long two days you're out nothing came in here we're just waiting and waiting. Here we get a positive volume reversal. We're out. Positive reversal. We're out. And then there's no action here, here. I mean here, there's no no action. Then we get a negative volume reversal, and you're short. Two days later, you're out. So that's sort of a nice, good, re recent example on a uh, daily, two-day chart of how this would be implemented. Moving forward, this is an older chart. Um, and this uh, shows you the COMEX Gold Daily in the last couple of years. Um, I don't have the exact date up here. It's probably covered at the bottom of the screen on the right side there, July through September. I think it was 2010. Um, take a look at the uh, signals. Negative volume reversal, you're out. Negative volume reversal, you're out. Positive volume reversal, out. Negative volume reversal, out. No trades in here, this whole area positive or reversal out no trades in this area so you can see again just two day trades on COMEX Gold this is the actual futures contract not an ETF so the applicability works for both futures and for stocks this is the same example now on Metastock as you know when you click on the uh, expert advisor commentary you get a little box that pops up and gives you specific directions so I wanted to show this so you can at least see how it works when you subscribe this was the same example that we just um, we just saw. I'll just back up for you. We just we're just highlighting the center part of the screen, and uh, this hypothetical um, trade here is highlighted in the box, and it says a positive VR signal has been generated into a long position. It's telling you what to do. It gives you a stop loss here, and you can see here on a two-day you're out quickly on a trade. You can say, well, I missed all this. Well, remember this is the two-day 
version of the volume reversal. So if you decide to stay in, you you know you you obviously not playing the two day. Let's move on to the next uh, example. Okay, this is January, March 2010. This is SLV. A lot of you are playing silver as I am, and you can see here, you know, the applicability uh, of the VR signals for some quick trades here. Negative VR here, two days out, got a trade. Of course, you missed this portion here, but again, it was a two-day trade. Negative volume reversal, two days you're out. Positive VR, two days you're out. This high, entire period through here, there were no volume reversals. So using just the two-day version of the indicator, there was no trace. Doesn't mean we wouldn't have found them with other tools or other analysis, but again, focusing just on this formula, that's where you're at. This is the same chart again, just highlighting the um, commentary box popping up, just showing you the instruction when you click on it. And just tells you what to do here, and it tells you a negative VR comes in, establish a short position, provides you with a stop loss. So in this example, you've been short here and out there on the two-day trade. It's cocoa. I know many of you trade cocoa, but here it is. This is on cocoa futures. Negative VR, two-day trade, and look at this all the way down. We're not catching this move because we just took the two the two-day version of the indicator. Now, using my regular analysis on the directional, we probably would have been short this whole way down. But again, I have to pull up that chart to confirm that. But then again, there you got a positive VR here, and you know the two-day trade came in in cocoa. Okay, Intel. Now here's an applicability on a 60-minute chart. Which you know, this is what's so fascinating about Metastock because honestly, over the years, I'm, I'm, my focus has been mo mostly on the daily charts, and uh, you know, a little bit on the weekly when I could calculate them. But now, through Metastock, on a click of a button, here I am opening up 15-minute charts, five-minute charts, 60-minute charts, weekly, monthly charts, things that I never really could do before because, you know, I didn't have the programming. I had my own inter internal software but I didn't have this capability so this is fascinating that you know for those who are looking for the uh, the cowboys out you out there are looking for the action you got you know negative VR and two bars you have a trade negative VR two bars you have a trade and so forth and so on as you can see here on a 60 minute uh, up here you got a little trade here now, I'm not saying you're gonna get rich on these but some are more dramatic than others and, you, and if you were looking on them on an intraday basis you might find some of these uh, plays. Pan American Silver, two-day trade here. This is um, pretty recently. This is pretty recently. This is August August of this year at the, at the end of the chart and you can see uh, two-day trade here, two-day trade here, two days here. Nice uh, little two-day trade here coming off the July peak. Exxon this is a daily chart of XOM and here we go um, negative VR little trade here not much here you can see here on a positive VR two days later that this is probably a loss on this trade here because basically you went below where the positive came in so I'm assuming this was a losing trade in here because you're, you know, you're out two days regardless positive VR here a little bit of a profit here very nice little trade here. Uh, obviously, it would have been great if we could have stayed with it, but th again, this was a two day signal. IMX crude oil, here we go on a 15 minute chart. 60 minutes, not fast enough for you. We can give you 15 minutes. I'm not saying that I do this myself, but this is just current here as of the last few days. And then IMX crude oil, um, just, just watching you know, what's going on here. The most recent, of course, was this nice little negative VR here. Um, in the last uh, couple, three days on an intraday basis, you had a quick break in the uh, crude oil. But even intraday, you can see here that you get volume coming in within 15 or so minutes, you get the follow through. By the way, I'm not recommending you do this, that you trade 15 minute charts. I'm just showing you the capability of it. Uh, my personal prejudice, as I mentioned a moment ago, is the daily charts and looking at the weekly charts. I haven't traded the 15 minute charts or the 60 minute, but they are fascinating. And as time moves forward, I may indeed begin to do that. And that would have to be a different service on my VRTrader.com service. We'd have to put out a whole different level of recommendation if we're going to start going to this intensity. Let's move on to the sequential now. Basically, this shows all the uh, volume, volume reversals, positive and negative. And then this is a you know one of my favorite tools because it shows everything, and you can decide what other indicators you want to put up on the screen. So um, here we're looking at uh, palladium on a weekly chart. Um, 
using using all the volume reversals. And this is, is fascinating stuff because particularly if you're into money management, I know some of you are money managers out there who want to step back a little bit. And as I get older, I want to do the same thing. Again, not focusing on those 15-minute charts. But, you know, here you have Palladium where you're getting a negative VR. And for a period of, again, this is weeks, uh, Palladium is in a downtrend. But suddenly here, this is um, in September, this is a 2005 chart, positive VR. And for several weeks, you're going up. And then you get a second one, you stay long. That's your second second one, your third one. And then all the way up until, and until this is May 2006, you saw on the weekly chart, you're getting a negative VR. And that defines, at the time, an important trading top in Palladium. And that's this is the futures, of course. And uh, this also came in in PAWL, um, which is the ETF for Palladium. If you uh, check that, they were sy synergistic. But the fact that you're able to catch a multi-week decline and not be staring at the screens all day I think is fabulous so this is one of the great powers of using um, the indicator on a weekly chart and again because of Metastock I was able to do this same chart this is just with the um, box opening up the uh, expert advisor box giving you the instruction just we just highlighted just one example here just to show you what happens when you click on the uh, that box there this on the commentary this opens for you and gives you the signal and tells you to get short which is obvious when you look at the signal but it's good to have a stop and the box there reaffirming it for you I like this example because this is um, a good example of sequential this is the S&P spiders the um, on a daily chart and what you're looking here at here is one of the reasons that I became a top market timer what you're looking at here is the three negative volume reversals that occurred one to, and they're counting, as you can see, they're counted, that occurred before the flash crash last year. And this is the flash crash. So I'm putting out a sell signal for my subscribers basically by here because I'm seeing three of these already and something is wrong. And I have no idea that we're going to drop a thousand points in one day. In fact, the funny story about that is I'm sitting in a dentist chair getting my teeth cleaned, believe it or not, when all this was happening. So I'm never going for a. Uh, a teeth cleaning during market hours. I'll tell you that right now. Or if I do, you can bet the market's going to have a crash. But it was one of the most unnerving experiences of my life sitting there watching the Dow drop a thousand and come back 700 while I'm getting my teeth cleaned. In any event, the humor aside, this demonstrated clearly the power of the volume reversal and this is what generated my sell signal for my timer digest signal that I put out into my clients saying, go to cash, get out of the market, there's something wrong here. So I think that's what's so powerful about the signal that it gives you that kind of warning. That's what I want to show you. And, and you'll see some examples. I think we have one for 1987 with IBM. One of the things I write about, just to get off tangential here for a second in my book and in my introduction, and I'm bragging here a little bit, but I have to apologize for that, is basically I've never, ever, including just the recent decline we've had in the market, ever been caught in a market crash in the 35 years I've been doing this. In other words, I protected capital. I always consider myself a survivor in the business. Um, you can listen to all the talking heads, I call them Muppets, on CNBC that you listen to all day long with the exception, exception of um, our friend in the T-Bond pit. But um, bottom line is volume precedes price and has warned me and kept me out of trouble from the 87 crash all the way to forward. And the, at the very, the very least, I'm in cash. And if I'm smart enough to put out some short recommendations and some inverse CTF recommendations, great, which we did on this decline, though we didn't catch every piece of it. At least we're there to play the game another day. And I think that's what's so important, and that's what I write about in my book. Here we are for the Spiders Gold Trust. This, again, is a, a daily the VR sequential chart. So it's showing you all the VRs, okay? And I'm not telling you to trade them, but you can see here, I mean, this is how I generally use it. I get a positive VR here. And I'm long, and I get negative VR, I get short. Sometimes I get out before the day it's occurring. It's modest profit there. You have a little trade here. If you want to use the signal, just on the signal. You've got to keep in mind that I've been doing this for a long time, and I believe in what I'm doing. So if I get a signal, I generally try not to ignore it. So I'm getting a buy here. Gets me long all the way up to this point. Gets me short. But then I'm reversing back long again when a positive VR comes in. And you get a second, third, fourth. And it keeps you long this whole move up until this signal came in. So it's just amazing that you get the, you know, with a couple exceptions where you get whipsaw once in a rare blue moon where you don't get an immediate follow through. The fact that the volume is telling you that buyers are overwhelming sellers and this is your trend until you see something different. 
This is the uh, Russell 2000 index just coming into this current decline. Just to give you an idea of what was going on here since uh, April and May. You know, of course, we all hear about... Um, hey, Jim. Jim Malillo just showed up. I see you on the screen, Jim. Thanks for uh, joining. Uh, Jim heads the uh, Detroit uh, Users Group. Good friend of mine. Thanks for being here. Um, look at the sequence of negative arm reversals here in the uh, Russell 2000. This is basically, of course, sell may go away. We all know about that. But the warnings were coming in here. And the um, sequential counts your VRs. You're getting three, four, five, six. It doesn't allow it to go beyond six. This is just a programming issue at Metastock, which I can't explain. But basically, just the sequence is telling you there's distribution going on. And just before the big break, uh, you know, we, just recently here, you got a video VR here, which have gotten you short. You've been short. There's another one here, too. And we had this whole decline just in the last uh, week or so. So this is warning you there was something rotten in Denmark. Just a series of VRs. This is almost like the flash crash example I gave you a moment ago or the IBM example, which I think I have from 1987. Just telling you sellers are coming in. And, you know, you want to see positive VRs up here. You want to see the blue ones. You don't want to see this if you're along the market. This is telling you something is wrong. And at the very, bet, the very least, you go to cash. You know, you don't, you don't fool around in this type of environment. Okay, and then um, this is uh, copper. Uh, ETN, so I believe this is the JJC, which is the um, ETN, not ETF for copper, on a 60-minute chart. It counts the VRs for you. So you're just showing negative, negative, negative. So you can be trading these or just staying with them. Then suddenly positives start to come in, telling you that maybe it's bottoming here. And uh, you, get a little, you get a mixed signal here. But bottom line, it's just counting the VRs for you and showing you what's happening day to day. So here, here's a little congestion in here where you didn't get the, tra the kind of trade you had over here. But the fact that these three VRs came in here was telling you that some type of bottom was coming in. And you did get a little bit of a rally. But this is just a 60-minute chart. Again, I don't trade the 60-minute, but this just shows you the power of the tool that th it does have that applicability. This is the uh, S&P Spider uh, daily. Uh, this is coming in. This is the current period of time. Within the last couple of days, of course, it's not. I think this was created like two days ago. This chart, so we're behind a couple of days here at the very end. But look at your distribution: one, two, three, four, five, six. That's really your seventh, but uh, Metastock doesn't count it. Seven negative ERs, and this is all coming into the end of July before the big washout. So, frankly, just getting out. I, I would probably just want to get out here. Just the fact I saw four. I didn't want to be in this market thinking there could be any problems. It did have this final high you know it came in early July it was a phony high it was sort of a bull trap we rallied up we didn't take out the highs the only index that took out the highs there by the way you probably noticed was the Dow transports which is one of my leading indicators which is frustrating because it posted a new bull market high unconfirmed anywhere else but by the same token uh, it gave a false signal up there but this is not we're not talking about that here this is the uh, S&P but just that distribution pattern I think was very important Here's uh, Mobile Oil Weekly and uh, the applicability of the uh, sequential signals, you know, one, two, three, just telling you this distribution. And uh, sure enough, you have the big the consecutive series of VRs here. So this is good for money managers. You're stepping aside. You're seeing a horizontal pattern like this in the market. Exxon's not going anywhere. You're getting, you're getting negatives. You're not getting any positives. So it's telling you somebody is selling Exxon. And sure enough, this is the current decline. Let's move on to the final indicator. This is the directional. Here we filter out the repetitive volume reversals. So we only show newly generated VRs when they're in the opposite direction of a previous VR or the previous VR has hit a defined stop, which we provide for you. Here's Transocean Offshore on a weekly chart. This is from uh, 2004, just an example we pulled out. Remember, this is weekly. So, you know, you're long here, you're short here, you're short all the way to this point, and you're long all the way up. So imagine this, and this is a dream trade over almost a, a year period of time. You've got one trade as your second trade and your third trade using a weekly directional chart because it filtered out a lot of the noise in between. This is what I'm really focusing on quite a bit for a potential money management program. If I ever have that opportunity, a couple of people have approached me on it. And basically, I don't want to be sitting here day trading uh, a, um, 
a mutual fund or a uh, separately managed account if I ever get seriously get into this this is the tool that I'll be focusing on is get the weekly positions and we just showed you on the Exxon and how you can have a weekly signal and still protect yourself in a uh, forthcoming market decline but this is um, one of the more powerful uses of it and the next example shows you the um, expert advisor chart explaining exactly what happened so this told you that if you remember there was a short position all the way to this point in time here and this just tells you a positive sig signal has been generated now you're long so this is a little box that pops up for you which uh, pops up on all your time frames whether it's daily weekly and so forth Here's COMEX Gold on a 60-minute chart between December 3rd and the 8th of 2010. Again, this is the kind of dream trade that if you, if you have this, if you have the discipline to stick with, this is why the VR could really work for you. You get a positive VR here, and you're long all the way, you know, for months at a time. I mean, I mean, minutes at a time, for days at a time here on the 60-minute till this point here. So you can just you know, wait till a reversal of volume comes in and you take a trade. So for those of you who like the 60-minute format, there you go. Same same um, example, just with the little box pointing pointing to the uh, specific instructions that you would get, telling you to exit your if you're short or you get you know get short, exit your long, get short if you were. And this is a negative VR, so you are getting short. Here we are in January, April 2010, SLV again. We showed you SLV earlier on the uh, sequential. This is on the um, directional, of course, and we're filtering out a lot of the noise. Negative VR. So in theory, you're short all the way down. Positive VR, you're long all through this period. Negative VR, you're short here. Positive VR, you're long, but then you get a, a mixed signal. So here, this is, your, your, this, is a, this is a losing trade. I would assume this is a losing trade. You got a bad signal. Then you're back long again, you're catching this whole move up, and then you're short again, catching this. So having one bad trade in a period of four months on uh, you know, five signals is an incredible statement for any indicator. Same uh, example, just giving you the instructions. If you highlighted this particular signal, this box would open here with this guideline. GLD uh, Daily. As you can see, I'm a little prejudiced to the metals. I keep showing you all these metals examples. Um, here we go. Negative VR, short. You know, positive VR here, but you're short again because it, it reversed on you. You're short here. You're long here. Then you get short here. Filtering out a lot of the noise in between because we're only uh, we're limit you know we're eliminating the conflicting VRs and unless the stop occurred we stay with the uh, position. This is the one I was uh, example I was talking about earlier. This goes way back. This is IBM back in 1987. I don't know if many of you had seen me or old enough to remember. When uh, I'm sort of dating myself, but I was on the Lewis Rukeyser show September 1987, a month before the uh, crash. And I actually, when I was on the air, I said, watch out for the third week of October. And one of the reasons that I was concerned is because I was doing an er a mid-September interview on the program. I was getting these negative VRs and IBM, which concerned me. It looked like a top was forming. I had no idea we were going to get this crash, which is the uh, October 87. But th th these signals warned me. So this is the same thing I'm, I'm pounding the table about that we just saw here recently, that we saw before the flash crash. If you just pay attention to the volume and you put up, of course, I'm prejudiced. My indicator, which I consider the best out there, and that's why I've kept it under cover for so many years, it really does warn you that there's something wrong. And you, maybe you'll get out here and you say, oh, I should have waited till here, but it basically it tells you there's something that you need to pay attention to. So I, would like to, I always like to show the 87 example of the directional indicator. Uh, to Seiko Mines, just a uh, little copper uh, stock that I've traded on occasion. It has some uh, nice little signals here. You get a positive VR here for two or three days, four days at rallies. You get negative VR drops for two or three days. You get a little trade here. Not much of a trade here. This, get, this didn't go anywhere. You get a nice little trade here for a few days. This one didn't do anything, but this one gave you a nice trade all the way up. So just following the pattern, you can see you tend to get follow through in the direction of the volume. So you may want to trade it. See, I'm not giving you a two-day trade on this. I'm showing the directional. If it's a two-day, more than likely you'd have taken all these little trades down here two days, been in and out quickly. But you're talking about a little 2 $3 stock. So the percentage gains are, are great. And this is why I pay attention to some of these little plays. 
Um, I know some of you are asking questions. We'll try to get to that at the end here so we can finish up. This is the U.S. Uh, dollar index on the directional, on the daily chart. And uh, this is April to June 2010. This is when the dollar was rallying. But you can see you get a negative ER and it drops for a few days. But then you get the positive ER here. And it carries you, theoretically, all the way up to a negative VR here where you start to get down. So basically, the fact there wasn't much noise in there. And also, you know, what do you do with a trade like this? Or if I'm short and I'm seeing it starting to go against me, I'm, I, you know, I make a subjective decision or I wait to this point here. So if you want to play it by the book, you're short here, you cover here. It's basically just about an even trade, but you do your best to uh, use the signal. Let's move forward. Silver Trust Weekly. This is the uh, SLV. You've got the uh, directional indicator here. Let's see how this would have worked for you. Okay, so you're long here. You're catching this whole move up. You're short here, but it goes against you. So you're stopped out here. This is your little ma this is a little signal that gets you out of the position. You're back long here. You catch this whole move up here. Negative VR. You're short. So putting S the silver on a weekly directional chart gave you a pretty nice uh, series of trades. Here's NYMEX crude oil. This is just recently, by the way. This is up to date. This is your daily chart on the directional. Look at the warning you had here that something was wrong. I mean, you have your negative volume reversal here. You do get a little positive here, but another negative. You get another negative, a negative, a negative, a negative, a whole series of I mean, just a negative just before this big break that we saw in crude oil here in the last week or so. So even if you're trading each signal, you know, you had a little trade here, made some money, long trade here, made some money, shorts trail here, you made a little money, here you didn't make any money, here you made maybe a day or two, but the key one was this one here, which caught the big move. But the fact that I'm getting this, these many negative VRs in the crude oil, at the same time, you're seeing distribution in the overall market. Certainly told you this is not something you want to be long, even if you chose not to play the short side. This is the market vectors gold miners. This is the GDX, not the GDXJ. We showed you the GDXJ earlier, I believe, on the um, sequential or on the two-day. And this basically um, gives you the trades on the gold miners ETF. Positive ER, you're long. Negative ER, you're short all the way down. Positive ER, you're long all the way up. Negative ER only worked out for one day here. There really wasn't much of a trade. But then you went long here, caught the move up. Okay. Question is whether you stay with it here or not. That was a subjective call because I didn't get a negative ER here. But we did get one here, which caught this little move down. Positive ER on the way up. Remember, this is a daily chart, so you're getting some daily follow through. So, you know, on this one here, you had at least one day follow through to the downside. And remember that maybe this answers a question that came in earlier. When you're subscribed to the live data feed, you're getting the VR as it's occurring. And this is actually the, on the daily chart. You can get your VR in the first 15 minutes of trading during the day. So I'm always checking, you know, my data runs during the day so I don't have to wait till the close. So sometimes if you get a big break day or, uh, or a big advancing day, you'll see the volume come in early. So you can position yourself early in the day before you know, a big washout like this occurs, and you can actually take a position and be making money during the day and decide if you're going to stay with it you know, for the next day or not. In this particular instance, you, know, you would have covered here because a positive ER came in. You wouldn't have stayed with it. But I like watching the volume as it unfolds. So I, I sort of encourage you to look for the live data feed. I know it's a little bit more expensive than the end-of-day data. But if you're uh, looking to uh, trade, you definitely want to take advantage of that. Now, if you're looking at the weekly charts like I've been showing you, then it's irrelevant. Because then when we're standing back, we don't really care, and we're happy to get our daily uh, data. This is the T-bonds. This is the futures. It uh, pretty much tracks what TLT, which is the ETF, was also showing. This is your directional version of the uh, T-bonds. These are your futures. Positive signal here, you're long. Negative signal here. Here you're stopped out. That's what that little blue signal is. You're short here. You're carrying it all the way down. Positive. You're carrying it up to this point until the negative VR came in. You caught this little move down here for a couple days. Positive VR, this huge move up that we just got in the bonds. Then you got negative VR and it pulled back. This was like two, this chart's two days old, by the way. And um, you have to take my word for it. There was a positive ER that came in, uh, I believe it was yesterday or day before, because we did surge to new highs today in the bonds.
but this, you know, let's call it like a one or two day play here for you in the bonds. But, you know, the fact it was able to catch this move here or catch these little ones, I think it's amazing. Even with those of you who are not interested in the daily charts, I think this is a great tool. This is your um, gold weekly um, ETF, -esque, um, ETF. This is the uh, SGOL, I believe. This is one of my favorites. I know many of you trade GLD. Uh, if you read my newsletter, you know I don't believe the gold is behind GLD, which I publicly stated. I think it's, uh, I don't want to use the fraud word, but uh, I'm, I'm concerned that it's not really there. And uh, SGOL, I'm not 100% certain either, but they store the gold in Switzerland versus uh, getting the Comex and uh, Barclays involved. So um, I try to stay away from the GLD. But anyway, SGOL is the trading vehicle we're highlighting here, and you can notice how it caught some of the nice little trades here. But the, the point made in this little explanation up here is that when we get the negative ERs, they're very short-lived. So that sort of tells you that the big trend is really up. So if you really don't get an extended follow-through or minimum follow-through, it's a good sign that the bulls are still very much in charge, which as we've seen the last several days is still very much the case. But even so, you're able to catch this nice move up on this VR here. This negative didn't go too much, though you were able to catch a couple days on this little negative VR. This positive caught this nice move up here and so forth. So this is, again, SGOL on the directional on the daily chart. How many of you like cotton? I've never traded cotton, but we put the cotton uh, chart up to demonstrate its applicability again to the futures. This is uh, February 2009 to March 2011 period. And uh, just to show you that there have been some nice trades, even in the in cotton here, this huge move here it caught, this little down move here, this little up move here, this little down move here, and this entire up move here that you would have been long until this negative VR came in. Um, I'm looking at a lot of the ETFs for the uh, agricultural commodities and all commodities because I still think we're in a huge commodity boom and I still want to take advantage of it. This is one of the final examples. This is timber ETF on the weekly chart on the directional. Um, positive VR here catching a nice leg higher. Negative VR catching again. It's a weekly, it's a weekly moves we're looking at. Positive VR and this huge break here that we saw here into August of this year on the timber ETF. Do we have any more examples? Let's see here. Oh, and that's it. Jeff, do you want to take over now? I pretty much covered the examples, and I certainly want to spend a few minutes if we can answer some questions. Yeah, great. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. I went, if you I, could, I guess, just to... Uh, go ahead. No, I, I, guess, I guess I could have... Uh, had about 10 or 15 more examples, but it's tough timing, you know, 60 minutes. So hopefully that covered the uh, territory for our listeners. I think you did great. Uh, if you could turn off your microphone for just a minute, and then I don't have to hear me talk as much. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, again, with, with Mark, we're really, really privileged to, to be working with him, and we're really glad that he reached out to us to, to code his. I mean, for somebody that in a market condition like we've had for 2011 to be ranked a top market timer out of the hundreds and hundreds of people that actually come in and actually uh, compete for that position uh, is certainly saying a lot about the methodologies and what's included. Again, I just want to uh, reiterate a few things uh, from the presentation. Uh, it is a proprietary indicator that all of these systems are built in. Uh, it is exclusive for Metastock, and I'd like to see it stay that way. Uh, we're really getting a lot of good feedback on this particular add-on uh, and I'm encouraging you to try it out. As you saw, we have very, very specific systems that are developed. Uh, if you're interested in equities, there's a very, very specific system where all the methodologies have been very, very much customized for equities. We have one for f uh, two different futures uh, systems that have been adjusted and uh, optimized to work directly with futures. And then we also have gold, heating oil, natural gas, palladium, platinum, co copper, and cocoa. All the three methodologies these using have different parameters and different rules that are customized to, follow, to trade the market that you're interested in. Uh, and it's definitely a product that I'd recommend that you try. Go ahead and hit next. As you saw with the examples before, we're not <laughs> we're not going ahead. But as you saw with the examples before, the integration with Metastock is what I consider complete integration. In other words, when you run the scan, it's going to tell you what stocks 
hit that scan or what futures hit that scan. When you attach the expert advisor, it's going to give you the entry signal and your stop loss prices. It's going to help you manage your money. I'm very, very happy with the work that Mark did uh, in implementing the add-on. I think it's a beautifully done product and I'd recommend that you try it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, normally you pay for this on a monthly basis. It's $99 per month or you can pay for it annually and get a pretty significant discount, $9.90 a year. I want you to be able to try it. Uh, I think if you try it, you're really going to like the what you see in terms of the results that you get. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a free trial, uh, but you have two days to get a free trial. So you have uh, all of tomorrow and all of the next day, basically. To get a free trial, just call our sales team. Their phone number is 800-252-9901. If you're calling from overseas, you can also call 801-265-8888. 86. Now, uh, again, just to reiterate, uh, I'd recommend you try it. Now, we'll go, we'll go ahead and see if any more questions came in. Uh, Mark, we've got some questions for you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my microphone so we're not having the problem with the echo. But if you want to come back in and answer some questions, that would be great. OK, I'm back. So we have a few minutes so we here. Have a I'm sorry, Jeff. We do have a few questions that come in here. Somebody asked uh, a little bit earlier during the class, what's your favorite method? And I know that's kind of like pick your favorite child, but do you have anything to say about which method you tend to prefer? Well, I, I've been concentrating more and more on the weeklies because it just, you know, it, it, it's less stressful if you can catch weekly moves, but um, I, I, I definitely, you know, focus on the sequential because I want to see every volume reversal. Um, I guess I'm just prejudiced to the indicator. I want to see every change of volume and then I want to see where the volume is coming in relative to where the stock is, relative to its moving average. Just a good, good sense of what's going, you know, going on. The directional is great filter, I think, for those who don't want to look at every every signal. But I, I, t I guess the focus of what I look at is the daily sequential uh, for my recommendations on my service. But I am putting more and more time into the uh, weekly studies because I'm thinking as time goes forward and with the possible money management opportunities that have been uh, sort of presented to me, I, I want to really step back and, and do the kind of stuff that I've been showing you here on the weeklies where you might have, you know, eight trades in two years. I mean, it's not good for the brokers, but it, it lowers the blood pressure of the money manager. <laughs> Great, great. Ken also asked a good question. He says that when you get the volume reversal during the day, is that the way that you prefer to trade a daily chart? For example, if a, a signal comes in for a VR reversal in the first 15 minutes, is that how when you take the trade? It'd be great when we get that, uh, Jeff and, and Ken. It'd be great if that occurs, and that's why you have to spot check during the day. So when I see a move starting in a stock that, let's say, is coming off a top, or one that's coming off a of bottom, and I see you know it's starting to uptick, and you got a nice little pivot point there, and it looks like it's coming off of a top or bottom. I quickly check the volume several times during the day to see if I am getting the volume reversal because I would yes I would tend to jump in early and not wait till the end of the day or the next morning because if the volume is starting to come in off the top or coming off the bottom, you're going to get you might get an extended move during that day, and you could get a nice you know strategic position in early. And uh, you, you could still make money, I suppose, if you did it at the close or the next day. But, you know, if it's there, I take advantage of it. So it's a little bit more work. But, you know, if you pull up the Metastock uh, live program and you pull up your chart, you'll see the VR if it's formed 10 minutes into the day, two hours into the day, whenever it's formed, if the volume is there, it, it posts. And, yes, I would use it. Jim, there's just a couple more comments. Um, Jim Malilo, for those of you that don't know, Jim is uh, – a long-time user of Metastock. If you're in the Detroit area by any chance, you should definitely look into joining his user group. Uh, but he had a good comment that he loves the tool. Uh, actually, that's one of the reasons that I like it so much. Obviously, Jim's been a, a friend of mine for many, many years, and he's a big fan of uh, the Leap of it volume reversal. And he do, he's not somebody that gets on and endorses any of our products necessarily, but he's also been a partner, and uh, or not a partner, but a customer of Mark's for many, many years, and he's a great asset to us, to say the least. Dino says he wishes he could, he could have seen the whole webinar. Don't worry, Dino, I recorded it for you. I'll send you a copy of the whole thing tomorrow. Yeah, Dino's a good friend. He's up in Edmonton. Um, 
Al Al Alberta. So uh, thanks, Dino, for, for jumping in and being a friend. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's the extent of the question, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the class today. Thanks again for coming, and uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, we have one more question, Mark. Yes, I see. Does VR work for stock market worldwide? Yes, yes. We use it for ETFs, some all, uh, you name it. As long as there's an ETF for any country index, currency, uh, stock, uh, this is what's so amazing. Volume precedes price everywhere, and I've been doing this a long time. You see it in the futures markets. You know, you can't use it, obviously, for mutual funds because you don't have the volume. But anywhere there's volume, in any exchange, any market, any country, in the ones I've seen over the years, there's no exception. I'm not saying every VR works or every stock is perfect, but it's applicable to every market everywhere, and uh, definitely I would take advantage of it. Mary asks another uh, really good question. She asks, she says, I'm new to the system. Is there any training that's involved? Mary, I can answer that one for you. Uh, we did record quite a few video clips with the help of Mark um, that kind of talk about how to utilize the system in your trading. And all you need to do is you need to log into your Metastock account on metastock.com and click on My Training, and you'll be able to go through all of those video clips that we put together. Uh, Alan asked, does Metastock come as software or does it work on the internet? Metastock is a software package. With what we do to use the program, uh, we want to do a lot of the calculations on your machine because it's a lot faster than that. Metastock's a fairly sophisticated program. Ellen, if you want to get a copy of Metastock to use to evaluate volume reversal pricing, uh, I'll extend a free trial uh, to you of the Metastock program with the volume reversal as well. Uh, does it work on a Mac? It does not work on an, a Mac unless you use uh, Parallels or Boot Camp and Windows. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put everybody back in the lobby. Thanks for coming tonight, and we'll see you uh, at the next Mark uh, webinar. Thank you, Jeff.